G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker and here to talk to you today about the Vertex Coactive Air Diffusers. We use these on aeration systems in, uh, in lakes and dams. They're a very good, well-made US product. The disc itself, how it works is that you have air pumped into the bottom of these discs and in the discs there are uh, thousands and thousands of little slits and as the air comes in, the disc, disc expands these little slits let out millions of tiny little microscopic bubbles that rise up to the surface. And as they get larger and rise up through the water column, the bubbles get bigger and they drag up all of the water from the surrounding area, which is where you get the, the high levels of circulation and water movement. Now, the discs themselves, they get put onto an air station like this. So it's a plastic base. And this is what keeps them weighted down at the bottom of the dam. So the air hose is driven well, the air is driven through this hose here. Vertex use a 5 8 inch uh, self weighted air hose. It's a very thick walled hose, it's very heavy so it doesn't float, looking like spaghetti floating around in the dam. And the hose itself is made out of PVC so you can actually use PVC glue to connect to this barb fitting or you can use a hose clamp or you can use both. The plastic base is hollow when it's supplied so we can ship them all over the country at a, at a good price. The discs come separate, you just simply screw the discs onto the unit itself. You'll see there, there's a hole there. What you do is you fill that up with pea gravel or blue metal, just some sort of small stone, and then you cap that once it's done. Now with the Vertex units, I said they're very, very well designed. What the, uh, the configuration of the, uh, the plastic or the, the molding of the plastic is that there's a little slot there. So you can't use sand when you fill these up. You need to use a gravel because what happens when you hang these over the edge or drop it in where you're putting them in a, uh, in a dam that's already filled, which is in the majority of cases what, what you do, this will make sure that the, uh, the air bubbles escape through here and helps make sure that the air station lands on the bottom the right way up. Now, the other way that you're making sure that it lands right way up is these two holes here one there and one there, you thread a rope down through there, up the other end, and when you do throw it over the boat or the kayak or whatever it is that you're using to install it, you simply hang onto the rope, you guide it down, once you feel it hit the bottom and settle in the right spot, you can then just pull the rope back up. Or you can also, if you do want to leave it there for whatever reason to pull it up at a later date, you can potentially tie on a, uh, a float with a rope and just leave it there to be pulled up at a later date whenever you want to. Now, having said that, these uh, discs are extremely low maintenance, so it's not like you do have to pull them up regularly, if at all. I've seen these over in the US come out of ponds and dams that are about eight years old, and while they're certainly not new, they're, neither are they caked up with gunk. So these things can be in the bottom for, for quite some time. Uh, in terms of the cleaning, another reason why they can do that is because just the nature of how this disc flexes and moves with the air going through it, it's always wobbling. So it doesn't, the fact that you've got air going out of it all the time means that you don't have any gunk settling on it. So it's ineffective, uh, an, an effective way of um, uh, self-cleaning. It's a self-cleaning mechanism. The discs themselves are all individually tested before they leave the Vertex factory in the US. So the locking ring mechanism is quite secure. Uh, and they produce a very, very fine bubble. And that's important because the finer the bubble that it starts with down at depth, the larger it will get as it goes up through that water column and the water move, more water it will actually move. Now the twin disc air stations that Vertex produce, uh, this is the standard one. There's also another one which is a shallow water and it's got a different spacing so that they do accommodate for, for different depths. So down to about one and a half metres uh, is where you'd use the shallow water one greater than probably oh, two, two and a half is where you just use the, the stock standard one. But uh, very, very good product, very fine bubble, move a lot of water. Really good product from Vertex. And just to avoid any confusion, the bricks that you see in the video are just there as a temporary installation, so we didn't have to muck around putting in the, the uh, rocks and gravel into the actual air station itself. So when you use them, there are no bricks necessary.